Well, hello! This is Wizard Fu coming at you with another video in the Load Ragger development series. Today we're going to be talking about the window and particularly handing, handling multiple different window ratios. You got screens that sometimes are real wide, sometimes you have screens that are more square, and handling all of those is something that should be your goal in a game, basically, unless you, well, most games these days need to be need to be able to handle that flexibly, right? So um, the way I handled that with Songbringer was to always keep the width rate the width um, basically setting a design resolution, right? Or a, a resolution that the game is designed for, right? So the width part of the calculation is always that designed width. And um, the actual height of the window is basically the um, the actual window, or the yeah, the actual window's ratio times the design width. All right, so let's look at that actually in some code. So before last video, we were talking about main.cpp and the view getting all set up and the platform getting constructed and the file system and all that. Let's hone in on these. Uh, four different numbers here the design res X Y and the maximum design res X and Y so you can see here that uh, Songbringer and load ragger are both designed for a 420 by 240 ratio or re resolution right that's the actual screen resolution um, and that's a really really tiny screen but that's because Songbringer uses a pixel uh, frame buffer so that it's pixel perfect graphics um, so the goal for load dragger is to do the same thing, but we'll see if that all works out. Um, and then the maximum design res is the maximum that it can go up to based on that flexible res that flexible ratio or handling different ratios like we were just talking about there. Um, and here is the maximum ratio that it can go up to is 16 by 9. We could set that to something even higher, or I mean even wider, uh, but for now 16 by 9 is the widest that uh, this game is designed to go to. Um, so what you've got to do basically is uh, you got to have a screen that's that's big enough, or you got to have enough content that's big enough to handle your normal ratio or your smallest ratio, and enough content to to handle a bigger ratio as well. Um, so let's just look at the math of how it takes this design res and uh, applies that to get an actual frame buffer res or an actual window res. Uh, so let's go to view where it sets things up. Here's where it sets up the config. It passes things in. Here's like your minimum resolution, maximum resolution, min ratio, max ratio, all those. It basically just clamps those numbers to give you some of those uh, those numbers we were just talking about. Uh, so when it actually goes to construct the view, um, it checks its numbers pushes back its hooks that it's going to need after the view has been created. So these are all, the all these hooks happen after the view has been created. It calls view on create and then it calls these different things. Set design res is the function we'll be talking about. And after it pushes, pushes back to these hooks, it goes and actually sets up the GL view. Setting up the GL view is basically just creating the window, you know, creating how big the window is, whether the window has borders and a title bar and all that kind of stuff. Um, so let's go to set design res, and here is where we'll, we'll actually compute that math that we were just talking about. So here's where it takes um, the the at, here it gets the actual win size from Coco Studio's director right now. Remember the goal of KitFu is to be able to swap in different different engines by just changing the CPP files. Well, this CPP file is based on Coco Studio X for now. So Coco Studio X it actually just gets the window size after it gets the uh, after it's already created the GL view, and um, it takes the window size, right? So, for example, this uh, computer that I'm using right now is a MacBook Pro. It has a 2560 by 1600 resolution, if I'm if I remember correctly, um, which works out to be an actual ratio of about 1.6. However, there are many other different ratios. For example, 16 by 9 is about 1.777. Um, 
If you want to go for the iPad resolution of 4x3, that's 1.3. It's one of the lowest resolutions you got in today's modern um, screens. So once it computes the actual res ratio, it sets the design res like this. It goes design res dot set. Remember, it always keeps the X the same. And then here's the get design res Y function. This basically just takes the um, the design res X divides it by the ratio and then uses that to compute the Y. So the Y is basically just, um, what's this here? Clamp F between floor F of design res X over max ratio. Right, right, right. So this is just giving you, um, this is just clamping the value of, of Y between uh, a minimum of the uh, x over the max ratio, so that gives you a minimum value, and then a, and then a max design res y was specified in the numbers that we did in main.cpp. So basically you can kind of ignore this line of code. This is all that, all that really is happening to determine the y res is just to divide the x by the ratio. This math divide f function is just dividing two numbers together that are floating point. Uh, it, but it just is safe. So if it, one of those is, if the, I mean, if the denominator is zero, it safely returns zero instead of creating a uh, an infinite value or a nan value, not a number value. So anyway, so there, that's how that's how it computes that y value. So let's see how that actually works. Um, there's really not that much to show with load ragger yet. So we'll go ahead and use Songbringer to show you kind of how the window works with a few different settings. Oops. All right, so we got, this is running Songbringer. It's gonna start up with the full screen because that's pretty much how I always, I've been using it. Let's switch it over to, um, we'll go with the windowed. We'll go with 720p. And we're gonna keep the ratio at 16 by nine. So that's gonna be that's going to be a, a bigger ratio than my current screen. So you're going to see this window be wider um, than the actual screen. So it'll, it'll appear a little bit horizontally wider. So there you go. Let's actually, let's set the window a little bit bigger. Instead, it will go for 1080p. Just so you can kind of see that this window is roughly the same. Well, you can see that it's, it's a little bit wider than my screen would be. In other words, there's more space on the top than there is on the side, proportionally. So, um, you can see that we basically have a 169 by 9 ratio going here, which is basically that 420 pixels scaled up to be 1080, and then the Y ratio based on that, but or I mean the Y resolution based on that, but multiplied by or divided by the ratio of the actual um, the 16 by 9 that we've set. Because we're using a window, um, we can actually. Um, why does this take it so long to load? Maybe because I'm recording a video. Anyways, what was I talking about? Let's get this so we can actually see um, a bigger ratio or a smaller ratio. Let's go for. So we're at 16 by 9 right now. Window, window ratio 16 by 9. Let's go window ratio 4 by 3, one of the lowest that it will show. And Songbringer is going to have to sh show a lot more content. Oops. Oops. There we go. So I'm not sure what's taking so long here to load. But anyways, we'll wait for a second. See how see how now the window is a lot taller. 
So once again, we've still got that 420 design resolution for the X. However, the Y, since we're using a smaller ratio, and we're dividing by that ratio to, to come at the resolution for the Y, we've got a much taller window. So basically what that means is Songbird has to show more content on the top and the bottom, right? That's just how it all works. That's basically the whole point of this video, right? How do you handle multiple ratios flexibly? Well, use one way you can do it is you can just put more content. That's all that's happening here. I promise this black screen is going to turn into something and you'll see what the heck I mean. I know it's going to happen sometime. Come on, window. <laughs> you can do it. This is really weird. Waiting for something. Magic words? Ah, well, something's up. Something's up with this. I've never seen this happen before, but it decided to happen right now. So, anyways, I hope you get the point of what I'm trying to say here that there will be basically more content on the top and the bottom when you run it in a bigger or smaller ratio, I mean. So, that's it for this video. And uh, hope you learned something. Hope this was valuable to you. And that's it. Cheers.